This project is focusing on a challenge of how do you develop a strategy to counter China's tailored coercion in the East and South China Seas and in maritime Asia more generally. China's been using military power, law enforcement and coast guard vessels and aircraft coupled with economic and political and information tools of policy to try to pressure and create more influence in both the East and the South China Seas. The United States working with allies and partners is trying to develop a cost imposing strategy or a competitive strategy that imposes costs on particular types of behavior that seems to fall outside of what is acceptable bounds of international law and acceptable norms of behavior in Asia Pacific region. So when China declares a nine dash line based on historical claims, not based on contemporary international law in the South China Sea, and then tries to impose it and make it a reality, even through coercion and the use of force, that's unacceptable. But what costs are imposed on China other than some reputational costs through embarrassing stories or diplomatic events or conferences? Well, this project is trying to develop the roster of military and non-military tools to impose costs on bad behavior that China may be practicing in the near seas. Now, this cost-imposing strategy or element of a strategy has to be put into the context of what we are trying to achieve in the region and what the United States is trying to achieve vis-a-vis -vis China. The United States has expended a great deal of treasure and time and effort uh, over the years and over the decades to create what we believe is an open, inclusive, rules-based system, one where all countries can benefit from an open global commons for trade and for commerce, uh, but also for security. We want China to be part of that, so we're trying to convince China to buy into an international set of rules that it didn't create. And China, meanwhile, is seeking to preserve uh, and to expand its influence on its periphery now that it has newfound power, it has a big, a big and growing economy, and that uh, the Chinese leadership is determined to build, as Xi Jinping has called, uh, China into a maritime power. And that's suddenly now infringing on the interests and the rights and the concerns of China's neighbors in the maritime space, especially Japan in the East China Sea, but also the Philippines, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei, and other countries in, uh, along the South China Sea. The United States, working with Japan, working with uh, allies in Southeast Asia, including the Philippines, working with allies outside of the region, like Australia or partners like India, hopes to find a way to impose costs on bad maritime behavior in Asia and increase incentives and develop and increase incentives for engaging China to bind China by these commonly agreed to rules uh, while avoiding the risk of escalation, while avoiding uh, ultimately conflict as well. So we believe through this cost-imposing strategy project, the United States can help other countries in the region ensure that there are clear penalties for bad behavior in the maritime space, but also uh, strong incentives for China and all countries to play by a common set of rules.